We're rapidly reaching that point in the presidential campaign, in fact, may already be there, in which there's a proliferation of polls on the presidential race and increasing controversy about what those polls mean. I'm going to give you here four tips about how to read polls between now and Election Day. The first one is don't read polls as a literal scorecard. It's not like a scorecard in a baseball game where you know precisely the score at the bottom of the seventh inning. Uh, these are indicators, not literal scores, which leads to point number two. Don't look for individual numbers as much as trend lines. Look for trend lines within an individual poll. Is Hillary Clinton doing better in the Wall Street Journal NBC News poll now than she was a month ago, than she was two months ago? Is Donald Trump doing better or worse? Uh, and trend lines among aggregated polls. Look at the trend lines internally and the trend lines over time among many polls to see what the picture really is. Third tip, look for individual unusual characteristics in any individual poll that seems like an outlier. There's a lot of conversation right now about a Los Angeles Times daily tracking poll that has Donald Trump ahead by a little bit. The real clear politics average I just referred to of all the polls being taken nationally has Hillary Clinton ahead by five. The Los Angeles Times poll goes in a different direction. There may be some aberrations in any individual poll. Those are worth looking for. And final fourth tip, and this one becomes increasingly important as Election Day approaches, think of the battleground state polls, not just the national polls. It's not really a national election. It's 50 state elections. There are about 10 or 12 uh, battleground states that will determine the outcome. The polling in those individual states becomes more important as time goes on than the national polls. They often move in the same direction as national polls, so they're not disconnected, but it's worth looking for differences between a battleground state poll and national polling.